Hey, good evening, uh, YouTube, uh, and all those wood butchers out there. <clears throat> if you've uh, ever checked out any of my videos, you know I do have a bit of a black and yellow problem. And uh, yesterday, I gotta admit, I was picking up some uh, some stuff for the shop and the house, and I was tooling around at Home Depot. And hey, all of a sudden, I saw there you had the uh, Atomic Compact uh, drill drivers on for 128 bucks Canadian. Um, I thought, oh, you know, it's bare tool, what the heck, and then I looked at the box, and it comes with a case, and a charger, and a couple batteries, and I thought, well, what the heck, I've had a bit of a love-hate relationship with my, uh, DeWalt DCD-795, uh, it's been an okay drill, uh, but the chuck has given me nothing but a hissy fit, um, I've had, uh, some major wobble issues with it, it's really hard to find the right spot in it and if I'm not careful it'll tend to give me a little bit of a wobble and I have to reseat the, the drill bit a number of times. That's about as good as I can get it. I've taken it apart, I've cleaned it, I've fixed up the teeth but it still gives me a bit of a wobble. Well within the limits of all the other ones I've got but this is my standalone but it's heavy. And heck, right here it says it's 25% more compact with 13% more power. Who doesn't want more power? Uh, I know by looking at the box we have a lot more plastic uh, than this beastie. This is metal chuck, metal body. I know we got the plastic bits here. Brushless motor. Brushless motor as far as I'm concerned, I think. We'll tear into this and see what it says. If it's not brushless, it's going back. Um, and I'm going to give her a couple uh, checkouts. Even if it's not brushless, maybe for 128 bucks, I'll keep it. Uh, so let's, uh, oh yeah, look here, ah, brushless. I can't read. Uh, English is my first language and only language, but I'm still not very good in it. So let's put this guy aside. Let's get uh, get the knife open and let's open this up here. So, standard kind of setup. Standard box. It does say that the max power is 340 UWO. I have no idea what the heck that is. Uh, RPMs are 0 to 450 and 0 to 1650. So I do know that when I'm using pocket holes, uh, Craig has recommended nominally 2000 RPMs for it. So this might be a little low on the RPMs for the pocket holes. Uh, so keep that in mind. 15 clutch settings, again, half inch chuck. Uh, that's a, a, has to, a non starter if it's smaller than that. Always need at least half inch. Uh, 6.3 inches wide. Okay, well, compared to the old uh, old trusty there, 208, 2.4 pounds. Uh, just a little bit more than 1.1. Uh, just about 1.1 kilograms, 1.09, whatever. Depends if a fly lands on it or not. So let's have a look at this thing. So we get one of the Dewalt bags. Some instructions. I have a whole box of these instructions. I don't think I've ever read through one of them. Uh, maybe an old planer I had and how to change stuff, but again, standard, if you do something stupid, you're gonna get killed type of thing. And it's in multiple languages. Alrighty. So we've got the DCB 107 charger. Uh, what does it charge at here? 0.5 amps. Well, that's going to take all day. And I do know that I have a couple of the, the quick chargers, which will uh, do a lot better than this. So this will be maybe a spare I'll throw in the basement in case I need a, something or other. Does it do? Uh, it does 12 volt, 12 volt as well. So maybe I'll use it for my 12 volts. And we get the side clip. Uh, I don't think I've ever used one of those. Here's my curiosity. We got two, two of the 20 volt batteries. 
So let's see what we got here. So they look a little bit, oh yeah, here we go. They don't say on the box the size of it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I think you can, eh? It says 1.5 amp hours, 30 watt. That's not going to last very much, but you know, when I'm just doing little things, maybe that's just enough to kind of get by. It's in the standard format. It'll have the, uh, I think, five cells or whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, everything else looks normal. Feels okay. So it's just got smaller cells in it than the two amp hour ones. Uh, so now I'll have a few of each. There we go. Another bag. You know, I, I don't mind bags. They're okay. I, I know that Milwaukee actually, some of their stuff that comes in a in a pack out container. Uh, DeWalt, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. It looks like it's the standard, you know, offshore sewing, pretty rough. I get the feeling if you really use this hard for a little while, this zipper is going to tear out. It's okay on the sides, but hey, you know what? I just use these things for other stuff, so nothing too crazy. All right, there's where the rubber meets the, where the rubber meets the hand. So, if we compare, yep, it is smaller. So the one thing I do notice with this guy is sometimes if you're trying to drill between studs or other things like that, it gets a little tight. So a little smaller might not be bad. Similar trigger. Sure, I got an extra battery. I do have a problem with uh, driller drivers and stuff like that. So, oh yeah, my little 12 volter. I love this little guy. I got to get new batteries for it one of these days. But these things work great. I got this as well. Everybody has one of these, don't you? Great for lowering and raising all the uh, legs on your trailer if you have them. Um, it's got a lot of juice to it. It's a fast drill. It goes up to 2,000 RPMs. Yep, up to 2,000 RPMs. Um, sometimes I use this instead of the other one when I'm doing pocket holes just because of the mechanics. It's kind of a little more comfortable in the hand. So it's brushed though, so I don't use it a ton. All right. Uh, what does this guy have? Oh, we got three bars. Okay. So they feel pretty similar. Plasticky kind of detent on the two speeds. There we go. Click, 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 click. Okay. All your different torque settings. 11. I can still hold that one back. Uh, here's 14. Yep. 15. Yeah, I can still hold that one back. Drill, I'm pretty sure. No. Well, uh, number two, yeah, I think I can uh, almost do that if I really want to. Anyways, so the outer part of the of the chuck is plastic, but all the internal bits are metal. I'm okay with that. This one's good, but it's got that knurling on it, and I know I've chewed that up, uh, grinding into other stuff or drilling into other stuff. It works and it has a nice positive uh, detent when you when you cinch it down. Kind of got like a couple clicks to it, so you know when it's really done in. How about this guy? Yeah, it's got a couple clicks and detents. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a little bit of a. A little bit of an outside wobble. I just don't know if it's just the machining. Hopefully the interior is good. So let me try my extended bit here to see if it's any better or any worse than the old one. Okay, cinch that in. Uh, it seems to have about the same amount of wobble. These long extender bits don't uh, 
don't know if that shows up, but it's got a bit of a bit of a wobble to it. Let's look inside that chuck. It's got like a tiny little Allen head in there. Don't know if you can see that, but let's kind of have a quick peek at it. I don't even know if it is, it's an Allen head. It looks like it's just stuck right on the gear. Almost like you could just pop it off. Oh well. I've never changed a chuck on a drill yet. Okay, how about first gear? Oh, it's got lots of torque to it. Yeah. A lot slower. Standard over molding, you know. Nice stuff. How about the Ford in reverse? Yeah, it seems pretty similar. Yeah, this one's definitely got a little more honk to it. It's got more, I don't know, more, more, more momentum or what to it. I don't know. Put that on two as well. This is a nice slowdown. It's kind of a, a, be a little bit nicer. Okay. That's good. Now, it says it's smaller, lighter, better, stronger. I don't know. I'm not going to get any torque uh, gadgets out to try and figure that out, but let's weigh this thing compared to the other one. Now, the problem is, I don't have a single scale that'll manage the weight of both of these things, or e each of them individually. So what I do in that case is I use a couple of these guys. I got one that's good for a kilogram and one good for 500 grams. So, if it's 1.1 kilograms, should be good. So, let's put that on there for a little bit of bridging between the two units. Okay, zero. Oh, come on. Zero out. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's take the, the bigger one. Oh, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, so we got eight, seven. Is that going to balance there? Good. Eight, seven, five. And three, five, nine. Eight, seven, five, and uh, eight, seven, five, and three, sixty. Okay. Eight, seven, five, and three, sixty. Let's try this one. Try and get 875. Oh, it's got a little bit of a different balance point. Let's try it this way. 875 and 360 on the other one. Ah, uh, come on, you silly thing. Yeah, let's equal that out. I move things around. 875 and 360. I don't know about you guys, but oopsie. Too much on that side. If I keep remembering the numbers outside. Well, here we have 833 and 247. So, yeah, it is lighter. It does feel a bit lighter in the hand. Certainly there is a, a little more nimbleness to this. Um, I don't know. I'm going to give it a go. Certainly, you know, for 128 bucks, two batteries, eh, charger is a throwaway. Bag's probably a throwaway, but you can never have too many little bags to put stuff in. So I'm going to... Give this one a little, I'm going to keep it. It's brushless. Should last good. I like the size of it. A little bit lighter. I think for just some quick drilling stuff and little activities, it'll work. Anyways, I hope you guys find this uh, useful. A little bit of an unboxing and a couple little impressions. Um, I'm going to beat away on this thing for uh, a few jobs. I got uh, a couple little gadgets to, to build around the shop. so. This will be uh, my next uh, drill for uh, holes and stuff. I think when I'm doing pocket holes and I need to really rip them through, Old Faithful here, now that I've figured out the chuck and e uh, you know, eased off some of the, the goofy stuff, it's better. Um, it's not perfect, but I don't think I can get any better. I've talked to DeWalt a few times on this, and I keep getting the runaround up in Canada here. Uh, in Manitoba, 
they've uh, sort of abandoned us um, to some extent. So unfortunately we don't have a service center I can go to and talk to the guys. And when I try and call the you know, Ontario number, they kind of laugh at me. So hope this helps a little bit. Otherwise, have a great evening, everybody. And, uh, you know, for 128 bucks, DCD 708C2 kit, eh, not bad. Certainly better than uh, boot to the head, right? Thanks, guys.